guys, well, in the last video, we poured our epoxy granite and filled our castings. One thing I forgot to do with my forms was make sure this, when I put this cap on there, I wanted to put a, a, just a piece inside here that was about an eighth of an inch, just so that this would be below the mounting surfaces here, and that was something I forgot to do. I also did not do anything like that on the column. So, as it turns out, I think I'm a little high here in the middle. I think the piece of wood may have been bowed or something. And if I take a straight edge and go across it here, it looks like it might be a little high in the center. So you can see it's a little high in the center there. So I'm going to have to remove that material somehow. And the best way to do that is with a, a diamond cup disc. This is for my 4 inch grinder. So I'll just use this to grind away that material there. And that should take care of the issue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use some of this die cam. Put on here and then put the column on top and see if I can move it around and try to get some etching in there just to kind of see where all the high spots are. like this is probably just going to soak up in here I don't think it's going to work but we'll give it a shot see what we got it's kind of porous so it may be all for nothing I do know it's high though so I'm going to have to grind it off regardless but I thought this die can might help me Make sure that I got the high spots. All right, we'll let that dry on there, and then uh, I'll set the column on there. We could try to move it around and see if we can get this to etch a little bit and see where our high spots are maybe. Okay, so I stuck the column up on there and you can see I've got some transfer here all in the center. So I know that this is high. So I'm going to take my grinder. I've already got it set up with my wheel here. I'm going to remove my ball screw here going to go out to the bed of my truck. I'm going to tape all this up here and I'm just going to grind this center section down uh, a little probably try to get it as even as I can with this right here. This is uh, probably a sixteenth of an inch maybe sixty thousandths or so below the uh, machine surface here so I think it'll be good. Then I'll recheck it and everything's okay then I'm going to mount the column get it on the granite surface plate and I'm going to recheck all my surfaces and I'm going to also compare to see how much rigidity I ended up getting with the epoxy granite fill. Alright, so let's get set up and we'll get this ground. Alright guys, well, I've got the base outside here and I'm going to just kind of grind off where the epoxy granite is, trying not to hit any of the casting. We'll see how it goes. I just need to go down just a little bit. I've got a dust mask, got safety glasses. It's going to be loud, but let's get started. All right, let's see how this is going to go.
right, that's making pretty much making short work of that. Uh, I'm gonna get some of these places right here, and uh, we should be done. Before I shut down, I'm going to just get my straight edge and I'm going to check it again. Okay, well that made short work of that. I checked it with a straight edge and it's now it's pretty much flush with this area right here, which is about a sixteenth below. So I think we're going to be just fine. Now we can take it back inside. We can mount the column, get it up on the granite surface plate. We can test for rigidity and compare it to before the epoxy granite. I've got the column mounted to the base. I've got the base and the column sitting back on the granite surface plate. And I just want to see how much improvement we've got in the flex. If you guys recall in a previous video, I had this set up exactly just like this and I was all I did was just push on the top of the column here and kind of try to spread them apart or pull them together and there was quite a bit of flex so let's try it again I'm pulling on this pretty hard here and it's about maybe a couple of tenths as before it was maybe a half a thousandths all right, so when I checked before without the epoxy granite fill, I was checking right at about a half inch on the y-axis here on the base. You can see that we're real close to the mounting point, but I'm also concerned with down toward the center of the axis. So if I try to pull on it here, I'm barely getting any flex whatsoever. Maybe one, maybe a half a tenth, a tenth. It's hard for me to push on this, and but I'm really having to push on it and pull it to get it to move just the slightest bit. So that right there tells me that after the granite fill definitely definitely there's a huge improvement on the overall stiffness of the column and the base very very pleased with the granite epoxy feel definitely worth the time and the money spent on doing it all right so i guess in the next video we'll get started mounting the linear rails to the base and the column. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or questions, as always, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly guys, be safe.